So you know they need it. Everybody can use it, but everybody hates it. The psoas release. Stay tuned as I show you the most effective way to release the psoas muscle. Hi, I'm Christopher Brennan with the Muscle Doc Method, and today I'm going to demonstrate uh, a few different ways to release the psoas muscle. Um, this is a common area of muscle tension that uh, tends to pull on that low back and is often uh, not treated just because it's such an uncomfortable muscle to have worked on, so a lot of therapists avoid doing it. So, let's do it today. Hmm. So what we want to do is we want to identify our landmarkers. We have our umbilicus here and we have our ASIS. And we want to go ahead and cut that in half. Now, you want to be careful with the amount of pressure and where you're applying pressure because on the left side, you're dealing with that descending colon. So sometimes that colon could be backed up and there could be some stool inside of there and you could be pressing on the stool and that typically is a very sharp, um, uncomfortable uh, pain and uh, not effective uh, therapeutically. So. What I like to do is have them to start regulating the breathing. And I tend to have them uh, to guide them to focus more into chest breathing rather than abdominal breathing. So we're, I'm not having to push against so much um, abdominal pressure. And um, so it's a lot easier for them. So, and as they're getting into their breathing and they're getting more comfortable, that's when I start to sink in a bit further. Now I'm going to have him bend his left leg, and now as he's bending his left leg, I'm feeling to see how that psoas muscle is responding. Because since it's a hip flexor, we're going to feel it get engaged with that motion. So I feel that I'm right on that. I'm going to go ahead and get a much deeper uh, hip flexion than you might have seen in the past. And we're going to roll over this muscle tissue right here. I'm right on it. I'm rolling over it. And we're going to go ahead and straighten that out. Now you do want to be careful of the nerve that uh, innovates this, uh, this area, that femoral nerve. Um, you know, you can risk damaging that just through aggressive compression. So we're going to go ahead and bend. The knee again. Good, I got that pressure right on that. Now I'm going to change my direction of onto the psoas muscle moving towards that umbilicus. We're going to go ahead and straighten that out. Good. And then right about here, I tend to give a break. Um, if, if your client has not received a psoas muscle treatment uh, in the past, it takes some getting used to. So you just go ahead and uh, you know take some pressure off, allow them to uh, re-regulate their um, you know their their senses and let their nervous system relax, and um, and then you go in for for your next pass. So again, we're looking at this uh, bifurcating the line between the ASIS and the umbilicus, and I'm going to start sinking some pressure down below. We're going to bend this leg and we're going to, I like to rotate it out and we're going to hold this position just for, for a moment, lengthening that psoas muscle and then they're going to go ahead and straighten it out. Now you might hear some, some pops and, that, and, and that's okay. Butterfly this out. Again, my fingers are pads of my finger are directly onto that psoas muscle right there. Good, and we're gonna go ahead and release. The area that I think a lot of people miss is the uh, psoas muscle attachment on the femur down here. So um, we can put it, uh, do this maneuver over uh, shorts or leggings, but uh, for demonstration purposes, so you have a better, better view, um, we're going to go ahead and disrobe some. And 
we're going to be working right here we have our ASIS and we're going to be working in this area right down here and you want to palpate to feel where the nerve is and where the artery is and I'm feeling that uh, pulse right here in the artery uh, it's quite a bit medial, uh, medially than where the uh, psoas muscle attaches so um, it's just good to know where that's located. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend this leg. We're going to come down this area. We're going to find that psoas attachment. We're going to go into hip flexion and then we're hanging this leg off the table and then we're applying firm pressure proximally. Again, this is a very tender area and you have to be really mindful to gauge where your client is at as far as receiving the amount of pressure that you're applying. Again, we're going to flex this knee. We're going to pour, allow it to fully extend off the table and I'm gliding over this muscle tissue. I think this area is often overlooked with a lot of uh, therapists and treating just because uh, feeling comfortable working in a, an area that is, uh, you know, somewhat, um, you, you know, just uh, invasive. And we're going to go ahead and bend. Grab our contact right here at the attachment on the femur, and then we're going into our extension. So for releasing the sideline uh, psoas muscle, there are some benefits in being able to uh, get the lumbar spine in, in, in involved too. But Honestly, this uh, technique is definitely more of an advanced uh, myofascial technique. So it does take some, um, you know, uh, feeling pretty comfortable of being able to maneuver around the body. So in the sideline position, what we want to do is to make sure that the uh, linen is straight properly. We want to instruct them that the maneuver is going to be as moving into a fetal position such as that and then extending and opening the body out like that and we're going to come back to our starting position now what we want to do is find that umbilicus find the ASIS and go directly in the middle And we're going to settle into that. And what we're going to have them do is go into that fetal position first. Good. And now we want to go into full extension. And let's go back into that fetal position. I'm using the, the, the pads of my fingers and let's go ahead and we're going to sink into that and let's go ahead and go into that full extension and opening. And what's nice about this is we're getting that extension both in the low back and into the hip that is lengthening that psoas muscle to its full potential. Good, and come back down. And we're gonna go ahead and move into the opposite direction here with my hands. So I'm using the palm of my fingers. We're going down, sinking in to that psoas muscle and we're going to go ahead and go into a fetal position. Step one, 
Good. Step two, extension, opening everything out. Good. And my hand placement is right over that psoas muscle. Could even get a, a little bit of extra help right there. Good. And bringing it back down. So go ahead and try these psoas muscle uh, release techniques and let me know down in the comments section down below what you think. If you enjoyed this video, show me some love, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the program links in the description below and I'll see you in the next episode.